Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and I am back for some more Minecraft bingo testing. This morning I did a live stream where we came up with some art improvements and made some more art for some more items on the bingo card. And so today I thought I would try to play a 25 minute challenge, but also show off some of the new art. And so I see over here, I've got a redstone repeater over here. I've got purple dye up here. There's lime dye right here. Those are three of the six new items that could possibly appear on a card. Let me see if I see any of the others. There is a flower pot right here. That is number four. You may notice that the rails look a little bit more like rails now, which is great. And I'm trying to think to myself, what are the other two? There's a light gray dye over here, which is bone meal plus an ink sack. So what you get for that, that's the fifth one. And then finally, I don't think we've seen the empty map yet, which I'm also curious to test out because I haven't actually tested getting it to make sure it doesn't interact with the, the bingo card map that we are already holding. Uh, but let's do a few more spins. It's kind of like the harder version of the compass that might show up on here. That one has a compass. There we go. So here is an empty map on this particular card. And yeah, let's actually try that card so we can try getting that thing which would be a compass and then a bunch of paper. So yeah, let's just give this card a try. I have configured things for the default, which is night vision. And yeah, made, I think since the last time, some more changes. Some people suggested uh, putting wool underneath the sign so that the light wasn't peeking through, which I thought was a good thing to do. Didn't put it underneath those chests, but I think that that's okay. Um, whenever you press this button. Yeah, actually, if you wanna see the sets of new items, this is a little bit different, and bones now sometimes turn into gray dye, and bricks turn into flower pots, and the dyes have been broken up, and so it used to be cactus, lapis, cyan, and now there's cactus and lime, and cyan, purple, and cyan, or lapis, purple, and cyan, and there's the compass and the empty map. In any case, uh, and there's, I guess we already said that. Those are all the items. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to try a 25 minute challenge this time, and I'm mostly going to try to do a good job of getting a good time, but I don't have any practice, especially with whatever new items happen to have been on this card, and I'm still not all that familiar with 1.9 combat and game mechanics, and I'm a little out of practice, so don't expect anything too amazing. Uh, and I think I can just go ahead and put this in my offhand and leave it there. Oh, there's a pumpkin over there. Are there pumpkin seeds in this card? There are not. All right, so that's not as useful as it could have been. And I also, in one of the previous episodes, I was talking about the fact that there's a bug that causes less iron to be found in dungeon chests, even though that is true. Uh, and I hope that they're eventually going to fix that bug. It doesn't look like the bug uh, is going to be in the, fixed in the week 46 snapshots so far, uh, but maybe week 47. Um, nevertheless, it is the case that iron is less common in dungeons than it used to be almost by like a factor of two. So it's kind of a significant, significant change uh, in terms of how profitable dungeons are just for iron. But obviously there are some other objects where the dungeons are potentially more profitable than they used to be. Basically they've got a bigger loot table. Uh, and so there's a little bit more, oops. <laughs> I apparently turned too many of my wood into sticks. So we will get some more of it. And I probably need some more wood for something at some point. And even though it would be better to use an axe, I'll go ahead and just grab a few more logs. I was also kind of hoping that by the time I did that, a spruce sapling would have fallen here, but it is not. So I did, since the last time, take a much closer look at all the loot table changes. And yeah, they are significant. Let's go ahead and make this. And I just realized I forgot to set up my hotkey mapping that I always do. So one moment, please. There we go. And uh, inventory. Haven't even gone ahead to try to file a bug on how they changed. It was back in Minecraft 1.5 that they changed the way that inventory works so that it responds to kind of mouse up rather than mouse down. And it's been annoying ever since. And it's one of those things that's like, a kind of fringe usability issue, but it really drives me crazy. And so one of these days I'll have the energy to write up or make a complete video about everything that's wrong about the inventory, but it'd be like a half an hour video. 
uh, because while it's subtle, it's it's deep. It's not an easy issue to deal with, but they've done a lot of things wrong with the usability of the inventory, and it's bad. Anyway, let's not harp on that right now. What we are here to do is play bingo, and I just got an item. Ha ha! Take that, bingo. All right, what should I be going for here? Uh, it's 25-minute challenge, so kind of all the usual stuff. Uh, do I have any of the new items on this card? I have the empty map, so I definitely want to keep an eye out for sugarcane right from the outset, because I think is there also a, a book? Uh, no, there's an item frame. Oh, there's a jungle over there. Um, that's probably a good thing. Do I need cactus? I do need cactus. Are there any of the other dyes on here? I'm going to kill myself on the cactus, apparently. Uh, I see the ink sack is a die, and I do see some squids down here, and so let's go ahead and grab that while they are, while not nearby, they're not too far away. Right, and I tried to swing a little too fast, kill that guy, I didn't get my first two swipes, second one didn't land. And are you just a normal zombie? Oh, whoa, that was a weird lag spike. Uh, I think you're just a normal zombie and not coming from a spawner. So we will continue in the direction of things like food. Hello, food! Get in my belly. But head over towards that jungle because there are cookies and melons on here. Melon seeds could now be found in jungles, for example. So that's one thing that'll be easier. Okay, I see some sugar cane. And I'm going to want this because I really want to make the, the empty map just to make sure that it works. Uh, make sure that I can't like right click on the map and turn it into a non empty map before it gets a chance to get sucked out of my inventory, for example. So, yeah, let's head over in that direction and just trying to study the card and see if there's any other things. Okay, there is the gray dye, which means I need, need more ink. Uh, so, I need another ink sack um, in order to get the light gray dye. So, I didn't think about. I think that's okay, though. Basically, having both of those items on the on the card at once just means I need to kill multiple multiple squids but that's acceptable there might be no I think the only way to make the gray die is yeah the only way to make the gray die is with an ink sack and bone meal um, I chose the dies I did specifically because of the fact that you couldn't make them from flowers because I really don't like didn't want to add more items to the game that are just walk through the overworld and punch a plant. You got an item. Because I think that that's too easy. Wow, there was something... I guess it's the waterfall through here, through the leaves, that almost looked like a nether portal right there in the distance. And I was like, how is there a nether portal? And you know what? I forgot to turn on the daylight cycle again, didn't I? Gosh darn it. I really need to just... Uh... Just go ahead and update my my testing harness for bingo here so that it goes ahead and um, has that set up so that it's turned on already. It was useful when I was originally testing and building everything because I didn't want it to turn nighttime while I was out building the Minecraft bingo world in the void and testing things out. Um, but now I've gotten far enough along. Okay, rabbit hide is not on the list. Uh, cows would be great. We have the cactus. Right, we needed another squid, so I'm going to quickly look. I do see a squid over here. We got our cocoa beans. I didn't see melons, uh, but there'll probably be other opportunities to get them. You, sir, can give me another ink sack. Great. And just taking another peek to make sure I didn't obviously miss any melon. Is that a melon right there? I think it might be, actually. All right, let's go back for the melon. I could also use... Yeah, let's get my furnace going. Yeah, I do see melons over there. And start cooking up some things that need to be cooked. So, oh, I already had that on the bar. Ha ha. So let's get that cooking while I go grab the melon. And is there... Oh, I'm going to need clay bricks. I'm going to need uh, three of them. In order to make the flower pot. I don't know why I'm trying to kill yet another squid. So yeah, if you don't know how squids work in Minecraft, now would be a good time to learn, because apparently you're going to need them twice as often, or more, in the new version of Minecraft Bingo. All right, so we'll run back over here. My glass is probably ready, and I can switch to cooking up the clay. I dug up three pieces, and I still only need to dig up one. That was foolish. 
because one gives you four bits of clay that is okay I don't need this um, I don't need any more melons I don't need the I might need the seeds to grow things later I don't need that uh, I don't need that I do want that and I do want that and I don't need that anymore and I want to cook this up as well okay great and let's see sugarcane not seeing any more yeah i think it's going to be the map will be one of the harder items uh, by virtue of the fact that okay let's do this and this will be the first time i'm getting a flower pot haha it works i think now would be a good time to really quick just go ahead and update the map just to see how we're doing and there's our cactus green which was already on there and just because I'm noticing that I'm already getting a little bit low on wood, I'm gonna grab a little bit more. Oh, I had the four on my bar. Four logs. Okay, so I definitely wanna to try to find the sugar cane before we head downstairs, and we're gonna have kind of extra daytime since I forgot to start the daylight cycle. And, oh, I should have cooked up some food too. Well, we'll have an opportunity to do that later. Um, I'm gonna need to cook up some food and a fair amount of iron. And so probably like six pieces of coal would be appropriate for this run, I imagine. So let's go ahead. That might be seven. I'm not sure. That's probably somewhere in the order of a good amount of coal for what I would like to do. Uh, mushroom stew. I already passed up some mushrooms and I didn't grab them. Fairly certain. So that was foolish. And I should probably be traveling alongside some water sources. So let me get up high and find some in order to find the sugar cane before I head downstairs. All right, there's definitely like an ocean over here. Oceans I find are not as reliable as rivers for getting sugar cane. I'm not sure if that's like actually a thing or just something I'm imagining. All right, I'm noticing that I'm getting hungry already. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna once again toss out a few things that I no longer need. I'm only gonna need one of those. And let's see. I am not seeing any sugar cane. Yeah, sugar cane is hard to come by. I wonder, let's go ahead and craft a boat, which means I need this and this. Great. And we can do some sailing. Yeah, I think that sounds like a reasonable thing to do next. And that's about to finish cooking. So we'll get ourselves four cooked pork chops. And we will use it over here. Oops, crap. Can I get out of the boat and push the boat? Let's just do this. Let's turn the boat back into an entity. There we go. And then... Yep. Okay, sailing, sailing, sailing. Uh, let's sail around until we see... some sugar cane. And now would be not bad of a time for me to get some food in my belly. Oh, I think maybe the last pork chop. I didn't give it long enough to finish cooking. Definitely moving the camera and steering the boat. Okay, I guess you can just move the camera independently if you're holding down both A and D. I can just kind of move the camera and look around because it's all about the oars that I'm pressing in order to do the steering. All right, maybe I'll get a little bit better feel for how to use the boat, because I feel like I'm already doing better this run than I did on a previous one. There are cows over there, and I do need cows for leather for the item frame. And I guess that's the only thing I need them for. But let's go ahead and grab that. All right, so I can hop out of the boat. Excuse me. I know you're using your skin to keep your insides in, but I would like to use your skin in order to make a pretty thing. So pardon me. There we go. Item frame get. Terrific. Let's eat another pork chop. Let's hop back in the boat. And we're off. Yeah, I'm definitely already starting to get a bit more of a feel for the boat commands. And so I expect overall I will like them better than the previous boats. Although, honestly, I could imagine there's a number of people who would enjoy 
a root canal better than the previous boats because the previous boats were bad. Fortunately, the previous boats were only like that in the game for about three years. So the moral of the story is if you wait long enough, then eventually the developers might fix the bugs in the game. I see some mushrooms. And so we're going to go grab that. Got a lot of uh, latent undercurrents of frustration with bugs in the game. I guess I am happy that they are now kind of like in the 1.9 features are locked down and now they're in bug fixing mode. And so we should expect the quality and the snapshots to go up. I could get an egg for the cake, but I really don't think I'm going to go after that this run. I was really just running over here hoping that I was going to find a red mushroom among the swampy bits, but I am not seeing one. So I think we'll hop back in the boat and continue to focus on our quest. Oh, fermented spider eye. I'm going to need another brown mushroom as well. Focus on our quest for the that thing I keep talking about. Where's my boat? Here it is. Sugarcane. Sugarcane for the map. And this will really give us a sense of... So I guess I need nine sugarcane to make nine pieces of paper because I need eight pieces of paper with the compass in order to make the empty map. And right, I can just hold down the buttons and then start looking in different directions. I think I do see sugarcane over here. It might be tall grass. From this distance, I can't quite tell. No, I think this is some sugarcane. Is it? I'm really close now. Okay, there is some sugarcane on the right. None of that is. That was all tall grass, but this is sugarcane at least. So let's come over here. Try to grab some of that before it falls on a cactus. And yeah, I guess I'll continue using the boat. Getting some more practice. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time going for this one item. Um, if I do see any good cave systems, I should jump down them. And at some point it'll start getting dark. And we'll be able to start killing skeletons for bones, for bone meal, for gray dye, as well as endermen for enderpearls. And zombies who are going to drop me tons of iron ingots so I can make all the iron things on the card since I haven't gone mining yet. Sounds perfectly reasonable. Right, right. All right, here is a cavish looking thing. So let's check it out only to discover that it is merely a cavish looking thing and not quite really a cave because it doesn't seem to be headed down anywhere. I will go ahead and grab all the iron that's easily available, but it didn't look like that was going anywhere. How about over here? This looks a little bit more downwards. Let's hope this has more promise. It does not. All right, so far, yeah, a lot of people, well, at least a few people commented on the previous video. And that one's kind of also going horizontal. Let's at least take a look. I'm not going to find a cave if I don't try, try checking all of the entrances. Nope, that's a dead end as well. I did have comments that a number of people have had it, had trouble finding cave entrances lately as well. And I haven't done any type of... I don't know the deep, deep dark depths of the Minecraft terrain generation algorithms, and I haven't done any kind of statistical analyses of worlds to find out how common one finds a cave entrance that goes, you know, down to the lava layer or different things. Although I have the means. I have a bunch of tools and algorithms I've written for things like that. So I could do some analyses in order to learn some probabilities and know if there's like a better place to look down or like if you see a cave bottoming out at this level, should you like keep going after it or assume it's going to dead end and do other things? Uh, all right, so monsters are just starting to spawn, and I definitely saw a spider over there, and we do need a fermented spider eye. Oh, which means more sugar. Oh, man. I've got all these, all this competition for sugar cane all of a sudden in the inventory. That was quite the lag spike there. And I do not want this guy to die on the cactus and cause his spider eye to die inside the cactus. Oh, I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Wow. Alright, let's eat some food. 
Uh, I did not get the spider eye, I don't believe. And I definitely need to back off and probably get some more food cooked up. Let's do some of that. Okay, the good news is with good saturation, my health bar did recover very quickly. And there was something else I wanted to cook up. Iron, right, except for I still don't have any more stone for another furnace. So let's just get two pieces of this. And then let's cook up the iron. And let me go ahead and eat this to stay saturated. And we really need to get downstairs. Um, let me once more just see where I stand. Okay, I still need from the surface red mushrooms, lots of sugar cane, and the spider. I could also try to go fishing. All right, but there's no point in sitting around here, so let's go ahead. Ah, darn it. Okay, not doing a good job with the combat here. And I presume crits still work. Yeah, I think I saw three hearts come off that guy. I presume crits still work the same way as they used to. So I should not forget that critical hits are a thing that I should be trying to get. I don't see gunpowder on the card. Here's a spider, and we do want to kill you. Okay, he at least gave me string, which I might be able to use for fishing. And then I thought I saw another spider over here. Don't hear him right now, though. Uh... Um, I do not see a red mushroom. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of lag spikes right now. That worries me a little bit. What is my... I hate going into video settings while I'm on camera. I'm only at 12 chunks surrender distance. So, that seems out of the ordinary. Can't think of any major changes that I've made in Bingo recently that would be causing that, though. But I may have to look into it. Uh, there is a skeleton over here, and I do need bones. Oh, and there's a red mushroom, too. Neat. I cannot block. Right. So I need to get the skeleton to come to me, probably. Did he lose track of me? There he is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Gosh, he does a lot of damage. Okay, fortunately. All right, I'm gonna definitely need more practice with the skeletons. Here, a rabbit bouncing around like crazy, as they do. And, oh, I need to eat. Um, do I not have any more good food? All right, we'll eat this. That's fine. All right, still looking for sugar cane. The red mushroom. I just saw the red mushroom over here, and then I got distracted by the skeleton. Let's grab the red mushroom. There we go. I still need the spider eye. Uh, sugar cane, sugar cane. Uh, that's a possible cave to go down. Not seeing any sugar right here, so let's try taking a peek down in this cave. This is not a cave, darn it. And another lag spike. Not sure how visible they'll be in the video. And yeah, I should actually go and review the video and see also what the ticks are doing on the right when I get those lag spikes. Um, okay, so it's good that I still have the little tick debugger uh, happening over there. Witches, I already got the glass bottle, and I could possibly... Oh, I got poisoned. Could possibly get something from them that I can't think of right now. Okay, I might want to... Gosh, you guys are difficult. I'm gonna die. Yep. Darn. Wow. Wow. Okay, skeletons are no joke. And now we lost all of our stuff. And so... Hmm. And look at this guy. Did he lose line of sight to me because he's inside some tall grass, I guess is what happened here? That's all I can imagine is that what might have happened. Um, all right. I'm no longer going to be able to get a good score on this card. 
and I'm kind of a little bit less interested in playing right now. I'm kind of frustrated. And so instead, let's do this. Let's give myself the ingredients to make the empty map, and I just want to try to make it. And so let's do this. Let's go into game mode one and give myself a compass. Boop, 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 boop. And give myself some paper. And fend off the zombie. And let's go back into survival mode just in case it matters. And do something like this. All right, and yeah, it does grab the item pretty quickly. It's possible if I shift clicked and then managed to right click on the map, I might be able to, I don't have to test that a few times, just in creative mode, just to try it out. It's possible that I might be able to transform the item from an empty map into a filled map where I'm actually just, you know, mapping the terrain out here. Um, I don't know why anyone would, would do that, but it's probably possible to kind of like screw up that item and that's an expensive item to get. Um, but it does seem to work. And we already tested one of the dies, the repeater. Let me also craft a repeater. Uh, in order to craft a repeater, one needs smooth stone. And so let's grab some of that and redstone torches. So let's grab some of those and redstone, if I recall correctly, because I believe the crafting recipe is like this. Yes, there's a redstone repeater, two redstone torches with redstone in the middle, over three pieces of smooth stone. So that's another thing that you'd need to smelt in all likelihood in order to get the repeater. Uh, but that got out of my inventory just fine as well. And so let's update the card with that. And so the new items seem to be working. Uh, I expected as much. And so that is great. And even though I haven't finished the card, and even though 25 minutes hasn't, hasn't passed yet, I can scroll back up in the chat and just click this to go back to the lobby. Uh, because I kind of did a bit of the testing that I wanted to do. Basically, what I've learned is I need a lot more practice <laughs> fighting skeletons. Um, otherwise, I'm going to continue to be frustrated in this game. But there you go. There's a little bit more of Minecraft Bingo. There is a sense of some of the new items. And something I haven't done very much of is just kind of like looking at random cards to get a sense of if they still feel balanced. And I can imagine different people might have kind of different opinions about what makes a balanced card, but I'm just going to show a few completely random cards here on camera to end things off to get a sense of what's easy and what's hard. I don't remember if I explicitly called this out in the previous Minecraft Bingo design video discussion, but basically in the previous lobby, when you were playing single player, you could do like easier cards or harder cards. And I got rid of that option, both because... Fewer options is better in terms of visibility. I want to have as few signs as possible and keep the lobby simple. Uh, and because the card generation is so fast, if you look at a card and you're like, oh man, this card's really hard. Well, there's a really easy option. You don't need a button for an easier card. You can just pick another card and then look at this one. You're like, oh, this one's easier. Or if this one's also too hard, then you can just click it again and pick another card. And so the fact that card generation is very fast means that you can kind of curate cards on your own now very easily just by kind of glancing over the card and seeing if it has, you know, a bunch of items that you hate or a bunch of items that you love. Um, so you can easily pick a card that you, that you enjoy. And yeah, at this point, I think I'm kind of babbling. So yeah, I've gotten a lot of interesting feedback and people have seen a lot of bugs and had different suggestions and all kinds of things. So any comments you have for me, by all means, leave them in the comments of the video. I hope as always that you guys are having a great day and I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye.